Everything that we see as Rock Island now is a state park. We're small, but we're really unique in that we don't allow vehicles or even bicycles on the island. Everybody that comes here walks through the trees, and we have uh, the Rock Island Wood State Natural Area, with an area of 700 acres is basically uncut. And the biodiversity of the island, because of our location, is um, absolutely magnificent. There's uh, lots and lots of rare flowers and things that we have because of our environment along the lake, as well as the old mature growth forest. When we go out to the, take walks in the forest, it is the quiet we pay attention to. And it automatically silences people just by being out there in the quiet. When they come here and see this effort uh, by Thorderson to visualize some meaningful past experience that he had as an Icelander in his youth, trying to build something, and the paradoxes that he brought here, because at one point he wanted to preserve the island, and on the other point he wanted to completely change it. Chester was a man of means at the time because he had demonstrated how to build high voltage transformers. Not to mention that Chester was a man of vision and an actual genius when it came to the electrical field. He had over a hundred patents to his name and others had said that had he wanted to be a rich man, a powerful man, his company easily could have surpassed the, the company we know called GE or General Electric. Through the efforts of a lot of the hard work of the local people, Chester's estate was sold to the state of Wisconsin for a mere, uh, I believe they sold it for about $175,000 uh, in 1965. It cost way more than that to build just the boathouse. So it, the, the boys lived up to Chester Thordeson's wishes to keep it all intact. They kept it all in one piece and the state was able to buy this and make it into a, the, the crown jewel of the park system. We're sitting on the west steps of the Potawatomi Lighthouse on Rock Island. And the history of this lighthouse goes way, way back. The original one was built in 1836. And so this thing is really built. The walls are 30 inches thick or better out of stone. It's more like a castle or a fortress. All the stone was cut locally. The guys knew what they were doing. They carefully cut it out of the cliffs here and, and milled it to size dug the foundation down to the bare bedrock, which is, in this case, just a few inches under the dirt. The original lighthouse keeper here was David Corbin, and he lived alone on the island. There were uh, quite a few families of Potawatomi Indian that lived here, but he was the only European. Through the years, various keepers served here. Sometimes it would be a, a husband and wife, more often it would be two families. The lighthouse served, um, admirably through the years until about uh, 1946 was the last family that was here and it was decommissioned at that point and became battery operated. Basically it sat vacant until 1989 at which time the Friends of Rock Island decided it needed to be restored and they began the long arduous process of acquiring friends, stripping out the lead paint, stripping every square inch and totally restoring. It's an ongoing project and uh, every year we try to add a little bit to it. The new light is, a, a we call it the erector set tower. It's about 150 feet straight west of where I am. Solar powered, uh, got a battery, and about every two years the Coast Guard comes and checks on, on the service of that light. Uh, we've caught something that is in a time warp, blending many different things. We have an archaeological site that go back 2,500 years, and then we have this that goes back to the Depression era, signifying man's footprint on Rock Island or on the Niagara Escarpment. And every time man lays his footprint on this, it has had an impact, and we have a microcosm of that impact. We have Indian ruins and these buildings, and we're trying to keep them intact. What the DNR hopes to do here is sort of capture this in time and not let radical change happen here anymore. We're trying to preserve it as it is without too much work on it, and I think people see that and expect it and respect it. Mm -hmm.